Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at another 15 or so vintage Game Boy Advance games playing on the Valve Steam Deck. Now, the emulator that the uh, Emu Deck, which is what's running on the Steam Deck uses, is called MGBA and it's a really, really good Game Boy Advance emulator. You can get a version for your Android phone as well, which is really good. Um, so the first one we're going to be starting off with is an absolute bona fide Game Boy Advance classic, which is Pokemon Ruby. Um, I'm just sort of showing you the opening titles just to see quite how glorious it looks on this big screen. Obviously the Pokemon games were very, very successful for the Game Boy Advance. I mean, wildly, wildly popular. Millions of copies sold. And uh, they still have their fans today. This next one uh, translates very well to the GBA. Nice little platformer, Prince of Persia. Sands of Time, I'm sure you've heard of the Prince of Persia games. Like a few of these, it just takes a little bit of time just to get to uh, get to grips with the controls. But once you've got that, you're off to the races. And these uh, first few levels are just designed to uh, get you familiar with the controls, of course. But yeah, really nice, bright, large sprites as well. It looks brilliant. This is one I'd, I'd heard of, but I'd never actually got around to playing it. It's actually quite tricky. Um, quad, quad biking desert fury. <laughs> but it seemed however bad you did, and if you kept crashing, you would soon catch up with the uh, the other three quad bikes in the race. It wasn't f it wasn't bad, and this was only the first of many courses, so um, but I didn't do. Pat <laughs> the annoying thing was you have to go through the uh, the flags there, or else um, you can't continue the race, which is a bit annoying. But hey ho, not a Game Boy Advance classic, but one I hadn't played and one I wanted to give a try to because there's not that many great racing games on the GBA considering the size of its library, which is absolutely enormous. Well over a thousand games came out for the GBA worldwide. And uh, there's some there's some real gems in there. I still think there's some undiscovered gems and uh, I think I've got one of those uh, to show you today. This was fantastic and the sound of it just magic. I'm always a big fan of the R-Type games and uh, this one did not disappoint. Not ridiculously mad hard right from the start like some of these are. Um, so it eases you in gently which is, uh, I always appreciate that. Now this one wasn't bad, this is called Racing Gears Advance. I know, noticed that all these uh, games had to put the little Advance moniker on the end, just to show it was for the GBA, not the Game Boy Color. But this one's great fun, and uh, once I got the hang of the controls again, I was loving this one. It's sort of like a bit like Micro Machines, you're um, hurling a car around the corners. It's great, really, really cool. Now you may have heard the news that uh, 
Emu deck is getting a second release, like a second edition, which is going to make it even easier to install some of the higher end systems, which are a little bit problematic. You've got to go through so many hoops. I've not really had a lot of success uh, running them properly. I've had Switch running okay, but Wii U I found to be a little bit harder to run, and original Xbox as well. So I'm pleased to say that the new version. Um, of Emu Deck, which is on its way, it's in beta form now, it's on its way to be ready for prime time very soon, and uh, we'll be able to cover some of those systems in depth. Um, I have got quite a library of original Xbox games, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing some of those on the deck. Certainly, the first Halo looks incredible. Anyway, this is one that I had at the time. This is Rayman 3. I had this one, I had my GBA, and it's a great platformer. I don't think I've played it even emulated since the days of me having my original GBA. But it does play really, really nicely, as you can see. Nice bright colours. And none of these have got any sort of issues trying to be emulated. They do all run perfectly, as you would expect. And I think the uh, for most games, the Steam Deck's current screen size is absolutely perfect for GBA because most games do um, upscale quite nicely. This is that hidden gem I was telling you about, Rescue Heroes, Billy Blazes. Now obviously this one was sort of designed predominantly for, for children, for kids. Um, however, that's not to take away the fantastic gameplay. And it's made by the company Way Forward, who did Shantae, which I'm sure um, you've heard of in Every Which Way, which is another really great, uh, that was a Game Boy Color game. So it comes from a good pedigree. And uh, yeah, really, really nice sort of cutey sort of style graphics, good, um, good levels design on them and uh, interesting gameplay and it's a variety of gameplay as well a bit like every which way where there's lots of different sorts of uh, levels for you to tackle it's just it doesn't get a bit samey like some of these potentially could but as you can see you're uh, you're playing that fireman there and uh, you uh, Billy Blazes is his name and you have to put out the fires around the levels but there are other aspects to this as well which we'll see in just a sec but uh, this is a game that's a bit of a hidden gem and I do recommend you giving it a try, I really do, it's good fun. But I'm a massive fan of Shanti and uh, as I said this is from the same team and you can really see it as well, you really can. This was a little bit of the, uh, the the first bonus level, where you're putting out a forest fire, so <laughs> which is pretty cool. And later ones, you know, you go over like skyscrapers and put them out as well. And um, as I said, there's a lot of variety, and uh, I absolutely loved this game. I really, really did. It was brilliant fun. So uh, I do recommend you check it out. Now this was a take on a game that I played, I think on the Mega Drive, uh, Road Rash. Uh, you sort of ride a bike and you can punch out left and right to knock fellow bikers off and also sort of collect stuff. And this one's, yeah, Road Rash Jailbreak. So I guess you've broken out of jail and you've uh, picked yourself up a ride and uh, you're trying to make your way, make your escape, avoiding the police and other, other convicts as well. But it's good fun. It was. You see how quick it is. Don't forget, this is the Game Boy Advance we're on here, and look how quick this is for a racing game. It really is quite nippy, and it's a lot of fun. So once again, this is one I think you might enjoy trying. It's it, you know really very quick to pick up and play and get into.
you might recognize these the rock'em sock'em robots um these were this was originally like um these were like figures it was a game made by mattel and it was a boxing game and the two robots there the blue and the red would be inside a, a ring and this was a, a child's toy and uh, you would have the two buttons on the front the left and right which you can just sort of see going up and down and that would be how you would control your robot and you'd sort of push them in like on a gear mechanism brilliant fun i never had one as a kid but i had a, a at least one or two mates who did have them who were a little bit older than me because it came out um sort of in the about 74 75 i think the actual game came out it's sort of a, a classic and um I was surprised to see that this had been brought back as a as a GBA game and one I'd never played before, but it was all right. It was, it was fairly good fun, although um, harder than I thought to actually try and win a round. <laughs> but it was all right. I do remember the rock and sock and robots. Now this one is Sable Wolf, and this was a remake of a game that came out in about 1983 on the ZX Spectrum from a company called Ultimate Play the Game, and they went on to become uh, the company Rare, which was purchased by Nintendo. So Rare were the company behind Goldeneye, for example, Perfect Dark. Um, they've got a very, very good pedigree, and they've always had a reputation for really good quality. Um, they did, I think they did Diddy Kong Racing and Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was them as well. Um, but this, I loved the original Spectrum game, in fact I finished it multiple times. Um, this I found a bit of a, dis a disappointment. Um, I don't know why, I think it was just lacking some of the charm of the original game. And um, the, the same principle is the same, just sort of go around a maze affair. You've got to collect four parts of an amulet, which is the actual wolf, and uh, that completes the story. But um, I was a bit disappointed on that one. Now, I usually, on these videos, put in um, a retro compilation, and I found this one, which um, has got four games that I absolutely love, you know, Sega Arcade Gallery. And if you've been watching my videos at all, uh, my game ones, I'm a huge fan of Outrun. And this was purported to be the original arcade version. And the music, as you can hear, is fantastic. Um, the track is spot on, it is the first ever Outrun. The only thing is, there's next to nothing else on the road, so there's no other traffic. And um, because of that, it's sadly missing something. But the fact that they've recreated most of this on the, on the GBA is pretty good in actual fact so it's not bad but it uh, it's a shame it's not a little bit harder than what you see here because you know first stab and I was through the first track without even crashing I think so you know it could be a little bit better than what it was this was fantastic so this is Sonic Advance Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, this is really good I mean obviously they're only really it's a variation on the old Mega Drive classic um, but they did a very very good job of it and I am a Sonic fan um, I love the first and second games when they came, first came out on the Mega Drive and I've always picked up various editions since then um, including the, the, the one which uh, was recently on sale on the Valve Steam store um, which uh, I've got for the for the Steam Deck as a brand new game, which is like a re like a homage to all the original Sonic games, which is fantastic as well. But this is great, and it's a version I don't think I've really played through properly. But as you can see, it's uh, it's classic Sonic action, and uh, you're going to know exactly what you're going to get. Once again, good speed for a GBA game. This was fantastic, and this is, of course, uh, Space Invaders. And uh, there is a version for this for the PSP as well. And both of them are really, really something. This is, I ended up playing this for ages. There's so many different little variations on that classic Space Invaders game. Eminently playable, this. It really is fantastic. It's one of the little bonus levels. Yeah, great, great 
version of Space Invaders this really is. This is Street Fighter Alpha 3, another great beat em up. And this, I really, I just, I always have loved the sort of cartoony style graphics of these uh, Street Fighter games, and uh, this is no exception. Great level design. It's like you're playing inside a cartoon. I really, really like these. Couldn't have one of these videos without having Super Mario Advance. And this is Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Brothers 3. So Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3. Hell of a title, but you know exactly what you're going to get. And these games were sort of iconic with the Game Boys, weren't they? I was never th a massive fan of them, but they are what they are. They are fantastic games, and uh, they got great level design. And, uh, well, yeah, you're not going to go far wrong with... Uh, with a Mario game such as this. <laughs> so looking ahead, I think I've, you know, I'm up to like S and T in the alphabet. We've definitely got enough scope to do perhaps one more GBA video. So look out for that one in a, in a couple of months time. I will do one more. And I think three videos covering this system is quite enough on the Steam Deck. But as you can see, if you only had one emulator installed with their game library, you could be playing GBA games for a long, long time because they just are so good. They really are. They're just fantastic. And then to finish off, we've got, well, another one, which I think is a classic. Um, one of a few games that came out for the GBA based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon show. And this is a real, real great one. It is so, so playable. I absolutely loved it and played it for ages. <laughs> which is um, a bit of a hazard when I'm putting these videos together because I need to get on and get them done. But I can't help it when I come across a really cool game. I like to uh, give it a proper blast as you'll see. So we do play this one for a little bit um, a little bit more time. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do next time. I may have another look through another 20 or so Nintendo 64 games because there's once again so many on that system to cover. So I'll probably have a look at that next time round. As soon as the new Emu deck comes out of beta, I will do a video on that one just so we can see how some of the other systems are, are holding up and just how easy it was to set up something like um, original Xbox games playing on the Steam Deck because it has always been something that's a little bit tricky to do as it stands right now but apparently the process is much much easier so I for one am very much looking forward to that as we watch a little bit more turtle action But yeah, thanks very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this little blast through. I think it was 15 or 16 uh, Game Boy Advance games. Certainly a few classics in there to test out. And as I said, I'll do one more. So I'd like your suggestions in the comments below of games that you'd like to see in what will probably be the final GBA video coming up in a couple of months' time. So if you have enjoyed it, do please give the video a thumbs up. Do please hit that subscribe button if you've not already for regular Steam Deck action. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.